Okay, so here's what we have out of the box. This is a stand. Three of these plates are pretty heavy. The remote, a couple of the cords, and then your hub for all of your ports, for HDMIs, USB. That one connect goes right to the TV. Got to put these two plates together for the stand, make sure they click in. Get that piece secure. This one goes right on the back of the TV. Four screws. And that last piece I just put together goes and connects onto that one. There's two additional screws. So you can set your connector port on top of that and that should slide in and that will connect to the TV here's your remote which just plugs into a C drive power first time I turn on the TV here Works well in the light, but just turn off the lights. It's very bright. Two simple options. How would you like to get started? Choose one. Here, I went for the smartphone setup. It was pretty quick and easy. Turning the TV on. Again, I had my PS5 plugged in, um, so it... Um, trying to go to YouTube here, um, it automatically switched over to the PlayStation Gaming Hub. So now to go back, I'll get back to YouTube. Try to show some 8K footage. Now what you're seeing, this is recorded on a 4K camera, so you're not going to see the true 8K. Um, but go into the settings on YouTube and make sure it is actually the right quality. So it, it does look excellent, just as a viewer when I'm, I'm watching this. There's not a whole lot of 8K content out right now, um, some on YouTube and Vimeo. Um, but what you can see, it is um, it does look really good. Now here's the movie Tenant. This is on a 4K UHD disc. I also thought this looks really good as well. Um, it's very smooth, almost a little too smooth. As the standard picture settings go, there's only optimized or eye comfort. So anything beyond that, you have to go in there and do it yourself. Changing this picture clarity settings from auto to off. This real depth AI motion enhancer smoothing is great for games. 
and sports. I don't really like it for movies and TV shows, it's ultra smoothing. Uh, but then when I turn it off, it feels a little jittery. So I don't know if I'm too used to the smoothing, but it's. They don't have a filmmaker mode or a, just a film setting automatically on here. You'd have to go in and adjust these each time to however you want to view it. Now switching over to a video game here. God of War on PS5. This is one of the better looking games that I've played, so just testing this out. It does look great on this TV. So overall, I was impressed with the picture. Again, it is really bright. The colors pop. It's a it's an excellent TV. Um, 65 inch TV. It that seems uh, pretty standard for for a lot of TV sizes these days. So I guess my personal opinion would be if you are going to go 8K to maybe go big and get a 85 inch or plus TV so you can really see the detail um, but it, this is it's still good at 65 inches and just another game with great graphics Here's a Wii U game that came out over a decade ago, and it's just 1080p HD game, but it's very colorful, and it really looks good. You can tell that putting to use some upscaling from HD to 4K and then 4K to 8K is what they're trying to do on this TV. I think this is an excellent TV for gaming. The colors really pop. But the smoothing I'm still getting used to for TV and movies. Sports look good, nothing great. Um, they're always live sports are only as good as who's streaming it to you. Streaming Dune. Still, this looks very good.
Yeah, I did have a couple of issues with the TV. One being the TV stand. Uh, for whatever reason, the TV isn't level. <clears throat> you can see in this video that down on the speaker on the left, um, there's clearance above it, and then the speaker over on the right, I can't fit underneath it. Um, it just runs into the TV. So something that I could probably fix uh, if I just redo this TV stand or if I mount it on the wall, it wouldn't be an issue, uh, but just something I noticed. And then also the, the Netflix microphone wasn't a, turned on when I got the TV out of the box. It's under the TV on the right side below this little circle here. There's a switch. Um, so then I was able to actually use that feature.